and welcome to my channel and I've literally just hopped out of the shower so my hair is still kind of damp you also may have noticed recently I started repart I've started reparting my hair in this direction I'm actually growing all my hair out long so I'm gonna get it to a point where I can cut it all even because I have it under here it's short where it's been shaved this used to be over here this is where it's been long the back's a bit weird so my hair's a bit weird right now I'm perfectly aware of that and I need to dye um, so please just ignore how weird my hair's looking right now, it is still wet. But I wanted to do a, literally for the whole of October, everything is going to be based around Halloween, fall, October and that kind of stuff. So my first video came out this month on the 1st of October was my Halloween lookbook in collaboration with Pat and Dead Girl. I want to say a huge thank you for her for doing that with me. She's a lovely, lovely, she's a lovely, lovely person and I highly recommend you go check out her channel. Today we are doing kind of a similar Halloween inspired video. I guess on Halloween you dress up and today I'm transforming myself into a new goth. It's a stretch. I'm gonna say it's a stretch. Um, when I say transform myself into a new goth, I mean I've literally gone online and found several different photos of what the internet new goth looks like. Now new goth is a sub style of goth and there is some intense debate around it but there are some new goths I personally know do listen to goth music and therefore that implements them into the goth, into the goth subculture. A lot of people in the goth subculture listen to goth music, they dress differently every single day and some of them do dress new goth, or they do dress in a new goth style. Now literally, as far as I can tell, the fashion of new goth is just a modern interpretation of goth fashion. So it incorporates 90s, 80s and modern day trends like big hats, collared shirts, etc. But also incorporates 80s layering and the 90s platforms all in one and it's just a modern day interpretation of goth fashion so there's nothing, nothing wrong with that dress how you like listen to goth music that's it have a so i'm gonna put some makeup on my ugly face i'm having some rather nasty acne breakouts right now which you can you can see i don't know why um but let's get into this shall we and i'm gonna put my hairband in so i have already chosen my new goth outfit but it's sitting here so i finally got a new foundation i got the collection illuminating touch foundation yeah this is a new shade and it is literally the lighter it's cool ivory the problem i had with this foundation before is that it didn't go like light enough for me i think they have a rose ivory or something that's more pink tone i already have quite red skin so if i put anything pink tone on top of my already red skin i look a bit like a tomato now also i myself do occasionally dress in a somewhat new gothy style so my clothes are obviously being worn in this video and in the past i have done diys on things that may be considered or have actually literally called in the title of the video new goth so there was some discrimination or in the past there has been some discrimination about new goth's place in the goth subculture and truly at the end of the day if someone listened to goth music it can make them goth now this is where this video differs, differs from my mole goth video where I strongly talk about how moral goth is not goth and how they really give it the name, blah 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 blah. So the whole reason behind why moral goth is really not goth is because it was literally a whole movement and a whole kind of subculture or, ca or counterculture you could call it. Late 90s and early 2000s that was literally listening to metal music and had no wider connection to the actual goth subculture. Now new goth does quite often listen to goth music, they have new wave and all that kind of other stuff music that I like to listen to as well. And they also listen to old style music and have quite a intense interest in the goth subculture from my experience and really up on the internet. Now new goth can also be called a uh, hipster goth or tumblr goth which alternate names for it. Hipster goth is just referring to the hipster style they adopt so big hats, sunglasses, different style etc. I guess you can really call any goth hipster goth at the end of the day. Um, and the Tumblr goth kind of refers to the fact that it was like launched mainly the widespread appreciation of it became on Tumblr. Um, so that's kind of the background to that. I'm using, I just used the Laval Press powder to powder my face in white and now I'm using Revolution Concealer and Correct Concealer. Just now from what I can tell there is no definitive new goth makeup other than quite deep reds and blended high with arched eyebrows or quite dark smoky colours so I'm going to do what I pretty much normally do recently which has been red and black smoky eye which is something I picked up 
couple of months back. I think it might have been a year now, actually. I, I think I wore it in my... I first wore it in my goth tag. The first one I ever did. That was last year. Spider by Toxic Tears to do that. The way I did it in that video was pretty true to form on how she did it in her video. Links down below. So I do not claim copyright or anything on this eyeshadow. It, it's totally just not my idea. So I've just nails palette and just this orangey shade here. It comes out more orange on camera, but it looks more pink and red in person. I'm just taking this red shade from the Sephora's Nails palette, I believe it is Danger and the Fluffy Brush. And I'm really just kind of going into my crease and just darkening up that whole area. I'm taking a semi queen Fluffy Brush and, and this pink shade from the Sephora's Nails palette right here. And I'm just going to find out the edges of that because it's looking kind of hard. Now I am taking just a plain black brush, a pretty, a pretty small one like this, and going into this shade, this black shade, I think it's called Nightmare. I recently lost my slip for this palette, I really can't remember, but all you need is a kind of light red, a dark red, a black, and possibly a pastel pink, or just a cream or white or shade that matches your skin tone. I'm now going back into that brush that I use for my darkening area and dipping into a bit of black and a lot of red and really kind of just smoking out that black. Something else that can be said about new goth is that quite often other subcultures do have the new goth aesthetic like metal and occasionally emo. So the fashion is really and truly diverse across different alternative groups but it has been given the name goth which I guess can kind of be confusing to some people who don't really have much experience in the of the goth subculture, metal subculture, or even in my subculture, and are being presented with a fashion that covers broadly all three, and is being called goth, which I guess can lead to some confusion there, and I completely understand that confusion. I just think we just need to establish the fact that new goth is a fashion that encompasses goth, encompasses metal, and occasionally encompasses emo. But all those three things are very different things. Of course, you could be metal and listen to goth music. You could be goth and listen to metal music. There is no one telling you you can't. But you cannot say that a band like Slipknot is goth because they're simply not. Their genres aren't the goth genres. I like to use a grey -y kind of terrible eyeliner pencil to do my eyebrows. So it's stiff, it's hard, I wouldn't recommend it especially putting in your waterline, but drawing it on brown, it is perfect. So I didn't even do a high arch eyebrow, I just did my natural eyebrow. So thicker at the front, thin at the back, and very, very dark. There, going on here, with just some black eyeliner. This is the Miss Sporty Studio, <laughs> Miss Sporty Meow Look eyeliner. I recently bought more eyeliner, but I recently found this one again in the makeup bag, where I thought it was. I guess in some goth, new goth looks have quite a big wing, so I'm going to attempt a big wing today. So I've obviously done this, it looks a bit crazy right now, I'm very much aware of how ridiculously stupid it looks. I know. I know. So I'm going to do, I'm going to do some eyelashes, I'm going to do my thickest ones to hide the catastrophe of my makeup right now. Um, life hack, if you are decent at putting on eyelashes, when you put on eyelashes, um, it can hide all the mistakes you've just made on your eyes and it can fool anyone into thinking you're like 10 times better makeup, makeup than you actually are. The Essence Volume Stylist Data Now Lash Dance from Mascara just to blend these two together. So recently I may or may not have lost my black lipstick. So I'm going to use this instead, it's from Primark, it's the Instagirl, it's a foil eyeshadow, but it's dark and I think I can get away with this lipstick. So I'm going to line my lips and then we'll see how bad this turns out. Well that didn't work as well as I wanted it to, so solution to the issue is I'm just going to take some black eyeshadow on my finger and pat it on. That totally worked. Now I'm going to contour just using my Submit Makeup Revolution eyeshadow palette in Iconic Division and a really grey shade in the corner and just contour the living heck out of my makeup. Okay, so as far as I can tell with the new goth hair, 
it is reminiscent of the 80s big puffy hairstyles. So whilst mine is still uh, drying, I'm going to see if I actually backcomb it whilst it's dry not dry. Mm, not really. Okay, solution B, I'm going to wear a hat instead. So I'm going to comb my hair out. Oh, I need to dye my hair. And I'll be back in a minute with my outfit on. watching and if you'd like comment and subscribe and stay tuned for more videos from me i know we said in the past that i was planning on maybe doing three videos a week i literally can't keep up to that standard right now so it's only two a week still and for the whole month of october it's gonna be halloween themed so today it was a transformation a dress up sort of a video i dressed up fancy <laughs> so um that's loosely based off it it's kind of very, very loosely based halloween stuff but i have more coming out soon so stay safe stay dark and i'll see you next time bye